Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Hearthstone. So this person is thanking me. They just asked me if I could, they could spectate me. Uh, it's kind of nice that they asked, but you don't really have to ask. It's just there. I need to play a, for a few more uh, mage cards for our quest, and that is it. And I have just a little bit more to talk about. Uh, it did occur to me if this Hearthstone chat thing really worked, Gina, and I had somebody Gina. who I could really you trust and not it. just be oh, a complete, is on. like, immature child in either maturity level or actual age, and they wanted to do kind of a podcast thing, uh, that, that could potentially put the length and how many recordings I record of Hearthstone up really, really high. If I could talk to somebody else with all my my topics, that would be really cool, but it would have to be somebody I really, really trust. And we'd have to get online at the same time. There'd be a lot of scheduling issues. My magic will uh, tear you apart. It's not a coincidence that people who do do podcasts also don't record as much gameplay footage as I do, which on that subject on its own, I, I'm accidentally going to end up creating even more yeah. gameplay footage for the first couple of months of, of 2017. Let's see. Wasted the point there. Um, so... Wanted. Let's Dead or go alive. ahead. Uh, in the last recording, or the recording before the last one, CD Projekt Red, I was talking about how they got uh, $7 million to improve their games. What they specifically got it for was city creation, seamless multiplayer, cinematic feel, and animation excellence. Now, what this tells me is that either this is the top four or five things that they're interested in uh, doing like with Cyberpunk 2035 or whatever the game is. It's Cyberpunk some number. Uh, but they are either very focused on accomplishing these things, and those are their four. Above all else, we need to have city creation, seamless multiplayer, cinematic feel, and animation excellence. Certainly the free to face cinematic feel and animation excellence point to that. Or, you can take it the other way, these are all the things that they are failing at right now in creating that game. They are, don't have the ability right now to deal, to uh, do city building, which is kind of believable. Can I light your fire? Like, if you think about it, uh, none of the Witcher games particularly did a great job at building huge cities. They brought, they built little hamlets, little towns, things like that. Now, if he's spectating me, he's doing a watch and learn, so that means I actually do need to win here if I can. Uh, so that is. We have many secrets. We have many secrets. So, um, yeah, see, a Project Red hasn't really done city creation before, like big cities. Uh, as far as seamless multiplayer, as far as I know about CD Project Red, they haven't ever done multiplayer um, of any kind. Cinematic feeling. Um, maybe in some of their cutscenes it was cin cinematic, but I would say mostly, even in their cutscenes, it seemed like most things were done Just in engine so you could have the different uh, equipment. And that was one of my few complaints about The Witcher 3 was the fact that it real a lot of times the in engine depiction messed up and if they had just made cutscenes for a more cinematic feeling it would have worked better and then animation excellence the quality of animation in Witcher 3 
was probably pretty good. It, no, it was definitely good. They, they may be struggling there a little bit, but I doubt not that much. Um, so, here he's not spectating me anymore. We'll see if he's if he comes back or not. It would be kind of weird if random people that friended me could hear what I was saying right now and start responding to it. Uh, Jane, it that would almost be Uther. like I'm running a call on radio show and I've never it. heard that work really intelligently on radio shows. It, it always kind of just evolves into zany antics and stupid people just to put it bluntly uh, so I don't think I would want to ever do that I, I'd much prefer people leave comments in my on my videos so then YouTube registers them and sees that engagement and then I can either determine to respond or not respond and sometimes my responses to some really stupid things is to block the person or report them for spam. Honestly, I report most people for spam. I've only blocked or delete. I don't think I've blocked anybody for saying anything stupid on my channel in two years. I have probably deleted for duty. Uh, two people for saying something just downright un helpful and mean like if somebody's just gonna say you suck i'll delete their their comment because it's it's not adding anything but if they make any point whatsoever i will struggle to find a point in an, in an insult if it's there and I'll, and leave it but if it literally is just you suck why would i leave that there uh, See, next secret I we found have many zero. secrets. So that. Let's see. So summon a random minion of the same cost. Spells are fun. The end. All done. There we go. Uh, Darkest Dungeon is going to add a new mode called Radiant Mode that turns a com campaign from an 80 hour game to a 40 hour game I think that probably is a great idea and the fact that I haven't gotten around to play Darkest Dungeon definitely affects why I think that's a, that's a great idea uh, the idea of having a shorter experience on Darkest Dungeon very much appeals because it is kind of just like five areas where you run through random maps and I understand the game it's one of these games where you can play it over and over again but I don't want my first campaign experience to be 80 hours because I never play it uh, let's see can I light your fire I would never play it the second time even even for just a 40 hour experience I'm still not gonna play it uh, speaking of CD Projekt Red again, uh, there's a Witcher 3 cosplay calendar that seems to mostly focus around Geralt of Rivia, well, the main character, although the two girls on the, in there too. And I talked about this Reporting before, but the more I'm getting into it, Reporting I'm just trying duty. to think Geralt of Rivia in the cosplay has all these scars all over his chest. And I literally cannot think of a single... Excuse me. You a were on girl that would be interested in that much stuff. Uh, I mean, poor guy. I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, forgive me for my my misspeaking, but I can't think of anybody that wants uh, to that wants to see somebody like Fabio Muscle. I get that. I get muscles. I get six pack. I get Back all to your of that being appealing. But I can't think of anybody that is, is, well, there's almost certainly somebody out there. There's some strange scar fetishists oh. out there, I'm sure. But it's this just way too many. I, I would, would be fine with one or two scars. Uh, when you just look at Geralt's face in the game, he has like three scars on his face that, that, that are fine and kind of distinguished. But... 
if his entire face was nothing but scars, if he if it looked like he had been in a, a food processor or something, that that's a totally different experience. Look behind you. Right away. Let's see if I can get to ten. I'll win. But I've got to be careful not to lose myself. Well, actually, next turn I could just do this. Two more damage. So, I don't know what they're trying to... I think they should have taken some artistic license there and been subtler. It's it's just not appealing. Okay. Anyways, I also kind of don't understand the idea of a not safe for work calendar. Uh, so, calendars are almost solely used for work. So... Why would you have a not safe for one run? Is it, it's kind of like having a Playboy calendar. But I'm sure that that exists, and in the we see them in movies and, and like mechanic shop and such. But honestly, you really probably shouldn't have these things. Let's see four. Two, Uh, I actually did work at a place that uh, they let the employees cut out uh, things from magazines and glue them on the wall like a wallpaper. And, and it was in Not the bathroom. And, and, and so I'm in this bathroom and somebody had glued like uh, a pinup girl. I don't know if she was really topless or not, but uh, right on the wall with the rest of this wallpaper. And thinking to myself, man, is this not appropriate? Alright, five, and then summon five. Discover spell. You want it? I got it. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and take this. And play this. Job's done. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess I had my own slight experience there. Let's move forward. Looking at the clock, we're probably going to end a little bit earlier. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online and Lord of the Rings Online have Let been moved to a new think. studio. While at the same time, the company that was running those two things is shutting down its third MMO, Asheron's Call, and its sequel, Asheron's Call 2, completely. So, I don't know about MMOs. I don't play MMOs. It's one of those styles of games that's never going to be something I can really get into. Because if I played MMOs, that would be the only thing I ever did. And I kind of feel feel like the um, so now this guy has to watch it more. So he'll probably comment for him. So I don't know really anything about it. Wow, and I only need one more mage card. Let's play again. Uh, see, he stopped spectating. But from an outsider's perspective perspective and probably a cynic's perspective I would assume that uh, so he thinks he, that's, that's what he wanted to do he had a watch and learn he got a free uh, reward Jaina for it versus I Jaina. didn't however and that kind of sucks for it. Oh, but it is whatever on. doesn't really cost me anything for somebody to spectate me everybody watching this video is effectively spectating me uh, I suspect MMOs are not succeeding and they're never really going to succeed. Uh, they are caught into, they are cut into by MOBAs, they are cut into by multiplayer fighting games, they are cut in by multiplayer first person shooter games. Uh, frankly the RPG element in multi, uh, MMOs are, is not really as popular as people were trying to push it and sell it and 
things like the Elder Scrolls Online, I'm sure that's going to fail eventually. And then, uh, lo and behold, the second the Elder Scrolls Online Someday is shut down or goes like free you. to play or whatever they decide to do with it, uh, they'll probably announce the next... Uh, I don't have enough the next we have many single player Elder Scrolls game. Uh, World of Warcraft will stay, but nothing else will. Almost certainly. And eventually, Can I like even World of Warcraft fire? will probably get shut down. Uh, Prison Architect has added an update called Staff Needed, where staffs needs, uh, actually. Uh, Can I light your fire? So now the staffs For of the prison on. actually need, you need to tend to their needs in the same way that you need to, to tend to the needs of the prisoners, which is fine. Um, the real story there is Prison oh. Architect, which is now out of early access and in full release, is still giving you. Uh, giving you upgrades, which is kind of nice, but that game in particular doesn't have a huge desire, it doesn't create a huge desire in me to play it. It, it looks just kind of like a sim game, and even though I like IntroVision, who I believe made that, I, they made Eplink and Defcom and Multiwinny and several of those games I have, they're all kind of long strategy games that are very niche and uh, I'll get around to him when I get around to him, practically. Um, so, that leaves me with only two more topics. Um, YouTube was promoting a video of somebody making weird Christmas things. And it was bad DIY, frankly. Uh, it just didn't look good. It was done badly. She was using a lot of... Uh, of hot glue on fabric instead of sewing anything. And the project she was doing was like five pillows in the shape of a hamburger, which is a really cool idea. I would love to see that actually uh, done properly. She put, instead of using fabric, she said, cut a t-shirt into the what shape. So just use the fabric from a t-shirt, a brand new t-shirt, uh, you would assume. Instead of just purchasing fabric for a lot cheaper. And then, instead of sewing any of the fabric together, just hot glue the edges together. Uh, and then you're stuffing it with cushioning so that the hot glue is not going to hold. I guarantee you that. Uh, just really bad do-it-yourself stuff. Uh, Who are you? It's, it, it really didn't deserve to get promoted on YouTube. And just because you didn't do a good job on it. And it was lazy. Well, it was real lazy. A we disappointment. We need better well. quality stuff on YouTube. And we don't need to promote... It, good ideas that are done poorly. Uh, good ideas that are done well. It it would if it, it would feel as if one of my very early videos was promoted by YouTube. Of uh, that, and if people came back and said, "Man, your video sucked when you first started," I'd be like, "You're right, man." And they're probably not much better even now. But. Welcome to Gadget Day! There we go, all targets chosen randomly. Uh, but, yeah, YouTube needs to do better. And then the last thing I have to talk about is Honey Pop, which I'm still playing. And I realized I'm going to have a nice opportunity to uh, use the Unicode things in labeling the description and the title. I can put little hearts since it's a romance sex game and uh, there's definitely some elements in Honey Pop that don't fully make sense to me. Uh, why they chose certain characters, why two of the characters have kids, why uh, one of the characters is is uh, 
is a total jerk. Mm. Doesn't make sense. Let's see. Let's you this. want it? I got it. And polymorph. And this. Job done. Uh, so I've gotten to another in section. I thought I had almost beaten the game yesterday and now I'm at now I'm kind of restarted in the fashion so I have one more girl to go after uh, and I assume that will be the end of the game then. Uh, it is adding extra work every day I have to go look at all the videos that I've blurred and see where what needs to be blurred out and then I also need to go back at yesterday's blurs and see if the blurs actually worked. Uh, because I don't want any five frames or one frames in which something isn't blurred. Uh, it's a pretty risky move we're gonna do on this one anyways, covering Honey Pop. It, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that, uh, that my whole channel gets the community guidelines strike from it and hopefully I can respond quickly enough and not end up with my entire channel deleted, that would certainly suck, but, uh, yeah, that would probably be the end of it for me. I don't know what I could even do to recover from that. I don't have my videos backed up or anything like that. So, uh, let's see. I'm up to 4,010 gold, and we got our quest done, and I'm off to play, honey pup. Uh, I need to eventually start getting my sleep schedule down to a normal person's sleep schedule, but I've been saying that for a year or two, and it never happens. That's going to be it for this recording session, though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can go to my main YouTube page. On the right is a button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.